Hey, welcome to Gracie Schwarzwald. I'm here with Erkan Mete, and we're going to continue on with our complete Gracie Jiu-Jitsu self-defense course. And today we're still working on takedowns, and we're going to work actually one of my favorite takedowns, and uh, it's from the front headlock position. So again, there's many ways to get to this. Um, we're going to start with just classic. Uh, here, I'm going to control his wrist, control his head. Okay, and all I want to do is be able to break his posture. For now, we're not going to get into all the different ways. I'm literally just going to pull his head down now. I'm not pulling his head down and using this arm to wrap up his head. I'm passing the hand under my other arm. So it's very important I'm not trying to do this. I'm just going to pop it down and go here. Now, I have the snap downs and I have the guillotine a lot of times. So let's say, for instance, we're going for the guillotine choke or just a neck control. And he will often tuck his chin Okay, I could finish on the chin. There's ways in the guillotine code where I show you how to get under the chin, but this sets me up for a really good takedown. And also, he may even be kind of hand fighting here, bringing his hands in. So maybe it might be hard if his chin is tucked. Um, in a past video, we covered opening the chin, pulling the arm, getting the snap down. But in this situation, I can't even get control of his chin, and he's got his arm too tight for me maybe to really or just, it's not really feeling like I'm gonna be able to do the snap down. His posture's too good, his base is too good. So from here, when I go and he's got his chin tucked and maybe hand fighting, I'm gonna bring the non-choking arm, the, non, the arm that's not around the head, under this arm and across his back. Now, the more he tucks his chin, actually the better this move works. So what I'm gonna do is when his chin is tucked, I'm just gonna drive across his face this way. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna shoot my hand under, I'm gonna start to push the face. Now, this is really important where I see people have trouble with this whenever I teach this, is they try to push the person and they don't move their feet. If I do this and I try to push him, I'm actually off balance too. And you notice he doesn't really move. So my motion, when I get him here, is I want to step outside his foot, and I want to open the door. Now, from here, call it pouring the big bucket, I'm going to push the head across as I turn my hand over, my elbow over. So from here, I'm here, I'm trying, he's hand fighting, I can't get under the jaw, I go here, I step outside his leg, I turn, I open that gate. Very important, I'm not trying to do this. I need to open that gate, and I go here. Okay. So I'm here, I snap him down, I'm trying to get it, I go, make sure I step outside the gate, and I really want to do this so I keep my balance. I push, I open, watch my left foot, and I come here. Okay. Now I'm not going to drop on the ground with him, I'm just going to stay standing. Um, if you have to, when I go here and I go and I open the gate and I come and I take him down, I'll go knee on belly. Okay, I don't like to drop into control for various reasons um, on this one. Now, a couple little details. If this leg is back, when I do this, it's a pretty easy sweep because he hasn't really got a lot of base here. So when I go, he's going to fall. But if that leg is forward, Sometimes I try to go, yeah, he's going to have the base, he can maybe step. So as I step out, again, outside his leg, I'm going to check the foot. So when I'm here, I'm trying to get this, he's defending. Get your hands in, there we go. I come under, he's got that leg forward. As I step, I'm going to block. Okay. So... I go across the jaw. Sometimes, by the way, if his chin is up a little bit, and I, I still feel like I can't get the guillotine or I don't want to try to fight for the standing guillotine, lift your jaw. I'll just actually go across the neck and kind of turn the neck, too. Okay, so let's do it from this angle. Okay, we're here, controlling. I snap down, I'm going for the guillotine, it's not working. I go under, I step out, I open the door, I turn. And we're right here. Okay. I've heard this kind of move variously called cow catcher, cement mixer. Um, but it absolutely, especially when I'm tired 
One of my favorite moves, because I do get to the front headlock position a lot. Um, and guys will immediately start hand fighting. And this move is very, very easy uh, for me. And it's a good, uh, again, self-defense move. If the guy's coming in and he's trying to grab me, I can come in, I can fight here, throwing my knees, everything here. And then we're here. Okay. So that is our cement mixer, cow catcher, um, front headlock, uh, twist takedown.